Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to limit the power output on an electrical outlet. Over here I have an outlet, I have a kettle plugged into the outlet, here is an iron and what happens is when we use a kettle or an iron they require quite a lot of energy from the outlet. Now if there's load shedding or you're running off a generator or your solar or batteries and at that time you don't want this particular outlet or other outlets overloaded by a 2 kilowatt kettle or a 2 kilowatt iron or both for that matter. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I use the CBI Astute system to limit the output. Right, I'm switching on the outlet and I'm going to turn on this kettle. You can see the blue LED there and the kettle will boil because there's no limitation imposed on the output at the moment. Right, so there we can see that the kettle is boiling and I can switch it off, but what happens if I want to limit that power? So now I'm going to demonstrate what I do using the app. Right, over here I have the app and I can turn the outlet on or off, but more specifically is I can set a rules. Right, so here's a list of my devices. I'm going to scene and I'm going to set a scene. So I say create scene. Now I'm going to select when device status changes and then I'm choosing the outlet that I've got. So I'm using the kitchen outlet because you can have other CBI products. You can have different outlets, a timer, but in this case I'm using the kitchen outlet and then it says select the function. In this case I'm going to say current power. Then it says less than, equal to, or more than a certain wattage. So I'm going to use this to scroll through and I'm going to set it to about 650 watts. You can also just type it in manually. So when it is more than 650 watts, next. So it says if the kitchen outlet exceeds 650 watts, then something must happen. Now I must just tell the app what must it do. I can control the device, I can send a notification, I can delay the action. In this case, I'm going to say control the device, the same outlet, and I'm going to say kitchen counter, I'm going to say off, so it will switch off the outlet, and then I'm just going to save that. Then I say next, and there we go, I've got a scene created. It says if the outlet exceeds 650 watts, then the outlet must go off. Now I'm going to save that, and then I'm just going to call it load shedding. And then I'm just going to accept it. Right, so it is currently in the on position. So that means it is active. So let's put it to the test. I'm going to switch on the kettle. And notice it switched off. So now if I try and switch on or off the kettle, notice it will not allow me because the outlet has turned off. So now I've switched on the outlet and I'm going to try and override it to see if I can force it on. And there the kettle is on and it should switch off. Yes, the app has forced the unit to switch off. This can be done remotely. You can set the periods. It can be the daytime. It can be all day and night. Or you can set custom times for when this rule is applied. Now, because I set the rule to limit the power output to be less than 650 watts, that means I can still use low current devices without any trouble. For example, there's a lamp running perfectly. But the moment I try and add a high wattage device, such as a kettle, the system overrides it. There we can see the kettle and the light is off because the whole outlet went offline because of the app forced it to go offline because of the rule that was set. But if I turn off the kettle and now switch on the outlet again, notice that the light has come back on. So this will stop the overloading of your generator or your inverter or your solar while you have this rule set. Thanks for watching and cheers.